The 11 Rules for Writing Muslim Characters by Abdul. <laughs> Number one, be very careful. Palestine is not Pakistan. Iraq is not Iran, and Hamas is not Hezbollah. Iranians are not Arabs, Turks are Turks, Farsi is Persian, which is not Arabic. Shia is the same as Shiite, and Sunnis and Shia are not ethnic groups, like Kurds, who are both Sunni and Shia, or Shiite. I know it's confusing. Sorry about that. <laughs> Before 9-11, you could get away with simply describing this mess as ancient hatreds, but this is the age of the internet, and ancient hatreds now sounds like amateur hour. If you're still confused, hire a consultant, preferably ex-CIA. <laughs> Number two. Muslim men with beards should never be shown smiling. <laughs> Number three, you'll probably have an older male Jewish character. Make him wise. <laughs> that he is sad or inconsolable if this is a book it goes without saying. Don't bother showing Arab Christians. No one will believe you. <laughs> Same goes for Indonesian Muslims. Four, always have someone, preferably the wise Jewish character, say that not all Muslims are terrorists. That way, the association between Muslims and terrorists will be cemented. Very useful. <laughs> Number five, be sure to have at least one good Muslim character, preferably one good for each, one bad, each bad one. People will then say your film or book is balanced, when in fact, as you know, its function is more akin to an alibi. Besides, 50-50 are pretty good odds that half of all Muslims are terrorists. See above. Black Muslim characters, excellent idea. Also valuable in film because African-American men look angrier when wearing kufis. <laughs> and African-American women are photogenic in white hijabs, appearing like Florence Nightingales, but not. However, and this goes for both books and films, be careful not to have too many of them in major roles. This will only confuse the viewer reader if the Muslim character's rage derives from race or religion. Seven, when establishing the Muslim character's motivation for the deplorable acts to come, make sure the U.S. government is responsible for some reprehensible action in the past, either at home or abroad. Strive for moral ambiguity. The only thing better than moral ambiguity is contrived moral ambiguity. <laughs> when you have good American Muslim characters, make sure to exaggerate their Americanness. Playing sports like football or basketball, less good to black, and consuming bubblegum pop culture are good for this. When you have bad American Muslim characters, make sure to exaggerate their foreignness. Spicy cuisine and suicide vests are good tools for this. There will be sex. Muslim men are very charming and very sexy until they kill you or someone else. <laughs> then they must become less charming and sexy. If a Muslim woman is sexy, she must have a domineering father from which she seeks to escape, often though not necessarily with help from her infidel boyfriend. Such Muslim women should wear hijabs only in family situations and always awkwardly. 11. White converts hate their families and America. <laughs>